Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing my April comparison of my Birch Box and my Glossy Box this month. I got them like today and yesterday, um, so I thought it was the perfect time to film. I feel like this past month has gone really slowly and that I haven't had these boxes for ages. It might be because I've uploaded so many videos this past month. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you watch the rest of the video so you don't miss out on any future unboxings and all of my other videos as well. But I'm gonna get in and show you what I got in both of my monthly subscription services this month. I'm gonna start off with my Birch Box. Last month we had like the classic original packaging but this month we're back to this kind of drawer system which is my personal favorite. And this month it's a collaboration with Bowden and it's got this like pretty floral design on it. I really, really like it. I like the red as well. It's different to any of the other boxes I've had so far. The first thing on top here is a little mini of the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I actually already have a mini of this. It's a little bit bigger than this. It's like the travel size. I think this is even smaller. This is just one ounce, 37 milliliters. So this is like a texturizing spray that you just spray into your hair when it's dry and it kind of gives you a um, nice amount of texture that looks very natural but sort of just gives you that little bit of volume. I have heard so many people talk about this and I was desperate to try it and see if it's kind of worth the hype that it's given. I actually do really like it. I've used it a couple of times. I got the travel size, I think it was in another beauty box or something. I can't quite remember where I got it but I really do like it. I'm not a huge hair person, um, but this is particularly nice. So if I'm going away anywhere special, to like a wedding or an event or something, I can just pop this in my bag and it's not gonna take up too much space. I'm actually going to a wedding next week, so I'll probably take this along with me to give me that extra bit of texture. My hair is pretty thin, so anything that gives me texture, I love. The next thing that has just caught my eye is from Nip and & Fab, and it's a corrector. And I can see that it's like a yellow tone. I'm gonna open this up. I've never seen this particular product before. So this is a color correcting concealer. This is the full size and it's £8.95. So I've got shade number two banana, which is this yellow. So I'm intrigued to see if this color will work on my skin. Oh, I just squeezed it and so much came out. Usually when you squeeze these, like it comes out a tiny bit at a time. So I've just like, got so much product on my hand now. So I can just spread that out with the applicator. It's one of those like brush tips. It will be interesting to see if this works on my skin tone. You can see it's very yellow. That is so much product. I do sometimes use like highlighting products which are a bit yellow and I always really like the effect they have. I sometimes feel like concealers, especially under the eyes, if they're really light can look a bit gray toned. I found that recently, I don't know what's going on but this is just really bright and yellow. I think that is gonna be really nice. So they have all different kinds of colors. They have purple, red, green, and yellow um, for different color correcting. I'm actually really happy I got the yellow. That's probably the one I would have chosen if I could pick. And then I've got this body cream. This is from, I am going to butcher this pronunciation, but it's Baija Paris. It's the Creme Moana in Fleur de Tari. Um, retails from £15.90. It's almost like sherbet-y. Super sweet and like almost sugary. I personally really like that smell. Okay, I'm getting the floral. Now that it's kind of getting warmer and I'm wearing like dresses without tights and that kind of thing, I definitely notice that my legs can look a little bit dry. Um, so this will come in handy for that because I just am so bad with moisturizing, especially in winter because your legs are just always covered up by like jeans, skirts, everything. So I'm definitely gonna try that. I actually really like the smell. I feel like not everyone would like it though, but I'm a fan of that. I think I got to pick this product here, just in a little piece of bubble wrap, which is always nice. This is from a brand called Mana, Manacarda, Manacarda Beauty. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Um, and it's the high definition powder. This is actually a full size and it's used to create a, a matte finish on your base. So it looks like a kind of translucent powder. Okay, so it's a twist, not a pull. Um, it's just like a white looking HD powder. I would say I'm in the market to try new powders because I love my Rimmel Stay Matte. I love like my Laura Mercier translucent powder and my Bourjois Healthy Balance. But apart from that, I haven't tried that many that I really love. I'm always looking for something that's going to set the under eyes nicely because I have like some creasing under there so not everything works but I'm excited to try this. I haven't tried a HD powder in ages. 
I used to have the NYX one like back in the day, like years ago, and I really did love that. Um, so I'm excited to try that. This retails for £27. I probably will use that tomorrow. And then the final like regular thing is from Polar. I have had products from this brand a couple of times and I really, really like them so far. This is the Ice Pure Gentle Scrub with Arctic Cotton and the full size price is £23.50. This happens to me every time I film one of these videos. I always can just smell like the strongest smell, whichever product just overpowers everything. So this is a scrub. It smells pretty nice. It's like a white scrub with little um, blue particles in it feels quite gentle. I kind of like minis of this kind of thing because again, I'm really bad with scrubs, probably worse with scrubs than I am with moisturizers, body moisturizers. This kind of gives me a fighting chance of actually trying to use it. The final product I have is actually an extra, which you had to kind of opt into. This is like a Bowden card holder. So I can't remember exactly how much it was, maybe like an extra five pounds or something, but I just use my Birchbox points for this. The reason I got it is because I actually use a card holder every day. I have like my train pass and then my work pass in it. So I thought this would be cuter than the one I have, which is just the one that comes with my train pass. I have another kind of similar thing to this that I got in a Birchbox, which was like a coin purse. I got it ages ago, but I've honestly used that as my purse ever since. And I love that Birchbox gives you options to add extras. They have like limited edition boxes, that kind of thing. So that's really nice. I'm really happy with this box actually. I'm definitely gonna use all those products. The powder, the corrector, and the dry texturizing spray, I'll probably use those all like within the next week as well. So that's really awesome. That's a really good start for Birchbox. So let's have a look at the glossy box. So this is my glossy box this month, just the pink standard packaging. I think the thing that's always impressive about glossy box is the size of their products. They always have like big things sitting on top, which kind of impresses you at first glance. So this is the first thing here. It's a big jewel ended brush. Let me get this open. This is from the brand Sport FX and it's their double time brush buffer and powder duo. So it just says number zero one on it. I do love brushes. So this is the buffer side. It feels quite not very dense. So I'm not sure how that would go with like foundation. Maybe it'd be okay. It's quite like flimsy. And then the other side is just like a powder brush, but it's quite small. I don't really know what I'd use that for. So it's like a synthetic multi-use brush. Can be used to blend in foundations and then powders. I'm not sure it's like the best quality brush I've ever seen. The price of it is $10.99, so it's not crazy expensive. That's like the price of like a Real Techniques brush though. And those are amazing, like the quality is so good. One thing with brushes is that if the quality isn't that great, it just you can't really use it. This buffing side, I'm not sure. I will give it a go. I'll try it with foundation and see how it works. It might be good with like just a really simple BB cream or something like that. I do always like getting brushes because it just means I don't have to wash the ones I have. So I do like that, but I'm not sure about the quality. And then the next thing is this. It's from the brand Elgon and it's their Deli Wash Cleansing Conditioner. It says it's a cleansing conditioner co-wash. So I think it's actually like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I never really use those and I do have showers like in the morning before work. So on the days that I wash my hair, I actually have to get up quite early and it takes a long time to do the shampoo and the condition. So I've never really tried a two in one. So I think this would actually be a really good time saver if it was good. And I love that it's such a big size. This is a hundred milliliters. So this is gonna last me like a decent amount of time. It doesn't say that it's a full size. So I'm guessing you can get one bigger than this. Um, and it says it retails for 14 pound 50. I'm actually quite excited to try this and the condition I have right now, I'm not really loving. So it'll be good to kind of try out something else and I haven't had to go out and buy it. The next thing in here is a little hand sanitizer. This is from Mercy Handy and it's the hand cleansing gel in Sherry Cherry. I love cherry scents, that's like my favorite. So I've had one of these before and they are quite like chemically smelling. The one I had before, it was like the blue one. I have no idea what it was called. So this one doesn't really smell very cherry-like, but this will be good. I love a good hand sanitizer and it's nice to get something that's different, not just the standard antibacterial smell because I feel like in the UK, we don't have a huge range of different smells for hand sanitizer. And I feel like in the US, I see people talk about all kinds of different smells. So it's really nice to try out something different. I love the color of it and it's so cute and pretty. I'll definitely like put this on my desk at work or throw it in my bag or something and 
Hand sanitizer always comes in so handy. <laughs> handy. Full size of this, this is a full size, is £2.90. So just kind of like a cute little thing in the box this month. Then there is this from Model Co. It's a contour stick. Just looking at the shade of it, I'm not sure, but let's have a swatch and look. So that's what it looks like. I love the pink. To me, it's really, really creamy, really like pigmented, but that definitely looks like a bronzer shade more than a contour. Let's see if it blends out nicely. Yeah, that's blending out pretty nice, nice and easy. I actually love cream face products, especially this time of year. I've just gotten really into them. I use cream highlighter all the time and I do like a good cream contour every now and again. That looks like a really pretty bronzer. I wouldn't say that this is the ideal shade for contouring. Um, so the full size of this is £17, but I mean, this is going to last you ages if I just... I mean, that's a decent amount of product. You can definitely get quite a lot of use out of that. I mean, I'll try it for contouring, see if it does the job. I actually haven't really been into contouring recently, um, so maybe this will get me back into it. And then the final thing is a mascara. This is just a mini. I never know if it's Rodial or Rodial, but it's that brand anyway. It's the Glamo Lash Mascara Triple X double XL, not triple XL. Um, and it talks about um, leaving your lashes super sized but soft. So I think it's a volumizing mascara. I think double XL makes me think volumizing, but maybe it's lengthening. I'm actually really excited because I do have a few mascaras that I haven't opened, but I'm kind of feeling like opening a new mascara right now. And I used to be all about lengthening, but right now I just really want like thick, full lashes. So I'm really enjoying anything that volumizes rather than lengthens. You know what? This might be the first month in ages where I can actually say that I am more excited about my birch box than my glossy box. I'm really happy with the birch box this month and the glossy box is good as well. I think both boxes recently have been doing so good and like I'm really happy but this month for me Birchbox is the winner. I will leave the links below as always if you want to go sign up yourself. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a really fun way and quite affordable way as well especially to build your collection or just to try out new products. There is honestly a ton of products which I have found through these subscription services which I just love and I use all the time. If you have like 10-12 pounds to spare a month I would recommend signing up to one of these. If you've got a spare £25 to spend, then sign up to both. Birchbox for me this month. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave my last video on the screen now if you haven't seen it. I think it was um, my YouTube made me buy it video. So I just kind of talked through a load of products which I've bought because someone on YouTube recommended them. And I'll also leave a little button to subscribe if you haven't. Um, I would really love it if you did that. But that's it for this video, so I'll see you in my next one. Bye!